Hi there, Natalie with you today with a new process video for Scrapbook Nerd. And this time I want to show you an idea using the Home Again collection and a little bit of mixed media. And this layout came together. I'm going to say the idea is very simple. It took a little while just to get all the pieces together. So I really love this collection. Very muted colors. I'm going to say a little bit on the monochrome, a lot of teals, a lot of blues, which is something I really enjoy. And it's all about being home. So one of the pictures I have, and I have tons of my kids doing work. They're in the last year my daughter's in the last year of uh, high school and my son in the second year university so there's a lot of homework happening in my house so i'm going to take one of those to create this layout now i had a few ideas but i knew that i wanted to fussy cut the flowers from this paper so you're going to see that i'm going to show you i took my time i'm going to cut i'm going to say at least half the paper uh, i'm going to use quite a few of them the layout is going to be filled with them so i'm taking my time and just fussy cutting some of them i am going to actually use a lot of the ones that are right at the edge of the paper just because i want to create uh, my idea was to create kind of a diagonal design that um had two big clusters on the sides of the paper but you're going to see that i changed my mind and it kind of created I kind of create um, an S shape, something that connects the two sides with the picture on this on the middle. So you're gonna see, that, like I said, I'm taking my time. I'm gonna fussy cut all the flowers, and then while I was fussy cutting, I also went into my little stash of um, the stuff that I have and decided that I needed to bring something black and white just to match the picture, but something a bit more delicate. So I found this washi tape. It's called a uh, botanical rhapsody from Alton New, and it's available at the shop. And I attach it to some a piece of vellum and a fussy cutting quite a few of the flowers i'm gonna use just a few but i cut i just use the time play some movie and just fussy cut all quite a bit of it so you're gonna see again that i have my little containers there full of the flowers that are fussy cut and i'm gonna start building my idea for this i'm gonna use distress uh, oxide inks i'm gonna use crack pistachio uh, peacock feather chip sapphire and peel paint and all i'm gonna do is i have these brushes and they're pretty similar to the blending brushes available at the shop these are makeup brushes i got them years ago um at one of a uh, sephora uh, as a a perk for one of my purchases and you know when I saw the other ones online being like I think it was picket fence I saw them I realized that pretty much the same idea had never used them it was sitting on my closet so I pulled them out and I'm actually happy with what they look like so all I'm doing is I'm just adding some of the colors it's gonna look scary it's gonna look blotchy and I'm okay with that sometimes uh, backgrounds have to look scary before they look nice and all I'm doing you're gonna see how I'm gonna create these two big kind of triangles that are gonna meet in the middle and I'm just mixing the colors again i'm not a professional um car maker i know car makers are very particular about blending colors i am not making a card i just want a background i want to create some colors so that the flowers are gonna pop up and uh, for this you can again i'm gonna say it's a very splotchy background and I'm okay with that. I'm going to mix the colors. I'm okay with that because a lot of it is going to be covered. I just want the color, like I said, to make everything stand out. So you're going to see that I'm mixing a little bit of cracked pistachio, a little bit of um, peacock feather. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, chip sapphire. And then just to finish everything, I'm going to bring a little bit of peeled paint. And it just had like more of a olive kind of greenish mossy tone that's gonna get everything together and you're gonna see again like I, again i'm gonna repeat it it's gonna look scary sometimes like i said backgrounds look scary before they look nice and this is just i'm gonna say uh, the background to what's gonna happen after so once i have that in place and before i usually set my backgrounds to dry i'm actually gonna watermark this background so you're gonna see that i have it ready and this is just plain cardstock i have an idea so and all i'm doing is splattering water on it and i'm just gonna splatter some water let it sit for a little bit and uh you're not gonna see the time that i sit in it because i'm just speed up the process but i'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and the water is gonna start eating away the ink so it's gonna give this bleached effect to the background so you're gonna see after i'm gonna say around four or five minutes i'm just gonna put a piece of paper and kind of soak up the excess water and then i'm gonna have that i'm gonna say it looks really bleached background it has it gives you a really soft uh, look to the background and then just to finish that i'm gonna add some splatters of gold ink i am using heidi swap color shine and i'm just splattering splattering sorry all over the background and i'm gonna set it aside to dry 
And while this that's happening, I'm gonna start working on the picture. Now I'm gonna use the papers from the collection. I'm gonna use some of the basic papers and thus um, the collection comes with the pattern papers and also a basic pack or just a plain cardstock. And I like getting it because it has the colors that combine with the kit and these do make really good backgrounds and actually really nice to cut with your die cutting machines. So all I'm doing right now is I'm just going to back the picture with this. It's a really navy kind of grayish tone. I'm going to back the picture with that and then I'm going to pull one of the papers from the pattern papers that has some of the blue and it has a little bit of the gray and the teal. I just want all the colors in it and it's this paper. I know I'm not going to use it because I know I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use it to cut apart to back pieces but I'm not gonna use it as a background so I'm okay cutting it apart once I have that in place I'm gonna add a little bit of foam adhesive behind the picture just to prop it up not that thick um, foam adhesive just very thin I just want to create a little bit of separation and after that I'm gonna start building this layer so you're gonna see once I glue the picture onto I'm gonna put it right at the center of my layout remember if you see it it kind of looks like an X my background so I'm going to put it right at the center and then I'm going to start bringing the flowers to create the idea. And remember I said my idea at the beginning was to create two big clusters um, on the sides of the picture. Kind of on a diagonal design. But once I start putting the flowers, you can see that I'm adding a little bit of foam adhesive. I'm not gluing it onto the paper. I'm just adding the foam adhesive behind it just so I know when I'm ready to glue everything. I don't want to make mistakes and have to pull it. Especially when I have mixed media because it actually is going to peel the color color so I'm just adding the foam adhesive behind it and setting the, and setting everything in place so all I'm doing is playing with some of the flowers I again I my idea is gonna change as I start building the layer the layers with the flowers and I love the fact that some like I said I cut the flowers too from the edges of the paper because I knew we we're gonna add them to the edge of this paper so this is a way to just take advantage of those flowers that are not uh, fully um, photograph in this case or print it on the paper so slowly you're gonna see that i'm gonna start putting the flowers and i love the fact that there's quite a bit of movement so my idea is i'm gonna connect the two clusters of flowers through the center of the picture so it's gonna look like an s an inverted s with the picture in the middle so you're gonna see right now all i'm doing is just building the cluster i'm adding some foam adhesive behind the flowers but not gluing it onto the paper just to have everything set before i decide to start peeling off the backing of the uh, foam adhesive and i'm not adding foam adhesive in all of them just a few of the flowers just to help me with the movement to add some dimension to this layout and here's where i decided to change my idea just because i love the movement that the um the leaves that i cut from the vellum and the washi tape actually kind of create help with the movement so i decided that i really love the fact that it kind of looks like a sweeping motion on this on the clusters and here's where i'm just, I'm just gonna start pulling them so that it kind of connects the two of them through the picture and i love how this turned out actually this is i love layers like this when i you know i have an idea and it, it changes and i'm bringing like uh, like i said before one of the reasons why i'm using the washi tape in this case is because it was a black and white um design so it reminds me a lot of stamping and because i have the black and white picture in the background i think it's just going to connect everything together like i said the collection is very i'm going to say kind of monochromatic very muted love that so uh what i'm doing is i'm bringing pieces from the collection the home sweet home is going to be my title so make sure that it was big and bold on the layout and then i'm just going to bring pieces i bought the entire collection so i have the frames and i have the um ephemera pack and i have the chipboard so i'm going to take advantage of all of that to complete this layout now that i've glued everything in place i took it off camera glue it i'm just cutting the axis i'm going to use some of the flowers just to uh, like kind of bulk up the cluster behind my picture now I'm going to bring pieces from the Gingham Far collection from my mind's eye. That's an older collection, but I have it all too again. It's a very neutral black and white collection. And if you know my uh, my type of documented, I love black and white. So I'm always looking for collections that have quite a bit of black and white or cream and that have muted colors because I know I'm going to add lots of colors to mixed media and it's going to make everything stand out. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding a brad to hold the little um, sticker that I added at the top left corner of the picture and i'm just gonna use one of my um 
I think it's a paper piercing tool that's actually to add brats just to the top there. I really like that little pop of white in that darkness that is up there. Not darkness, it's just a little bit on the dark side. So that little pop of the brat is gonna is all that he needs. And I'm just like I said, I'm adding some stickers. Uh, once I had pretty much the idea of the sweeping motion of the flowers ready, I decided that I needed to add a third cluster. And for this, I'm gonna add it at the bottom right corner of this layer. So you're gonna see that I'm gonna pull some pieces from from the Gingham Far collection. I really, that tag is from that collection. And the two stickers come from the Home Again collection from uh, Cartabella. And it just has all the colors that I'm using. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little piece of foam adhesive behind the tag, just to create a little bit of lift and I'm able to also loop the little piece of string. And then I'm just gonna create a small cluster at the bottom. I'm gonna make sure that I bring some of the elements that are at the top and repeat them at the bottom, just to tie everything together. I wish I would have added a little bit of mixed media but I don't mind actually having the white space um, and then that little tag is where I'm gonna add my lines of journal to so that's one of the reasons why I added the third cluster there so you're gonna see that once I have that in place I thought about adding more flowers but it made it really clunky so instead I'm gonna add these little tiny flowers from the uh, sticker sheet from the collection and then I found these little blue butterflies in the sticker uh, sheet so I'm gonna add them throughout where I have the major clusters just to kind of connect everything together and help with the sweeping motion you're gonna see that I'm gonna add two right at the top left corner of the layout and then I'm gonna add a chipboard that said grow in between them and that's just kind of again i'm trying to elongate the layer you're gonna see that if the clusters go from left to right so i want to make sure that i have something a little bit on top just to balance the bottom cluster uh, once i have that i bring the gingham form um gingham farm sorry collection just to add a few more stickers i found these little arrows the chevrons and i thought it was gonna point into the um the tag where I'm gonna add my lines to journal and I'm gonna also add that sticker that says this is everything uh, just so you know help me with the picture uh, once I have that in place you're gonna see that I'm just gonna add remember I said a chipboard right at the top in between those two little butterflies and then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my lines to journal and a piece of string to the tag just to finish my layout uh, the only thing that I added to was a few of the enamel dots to the side of the um, tag at the bottom just to bring some of the colors that I have at the top just because it's too much of black and white so I'm gonna add some of the little enamel dots just to bring some of the color and then I added a few more drops of uh, gold ink that doesn't show in the video but that's about it I love how this turned out it took a while to fussy cut the flowers and then the background because it's ink it kind of works really fast but I love how this turned out super cute uh, very me and I hope you try it make sure you check everything that I use is available at the shop um, and Joy is actually collecting pre-orders for the new stuff that's going to be coming in so make sure you check the store if you have any questions or how this came together do not hesitate to contact me thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you very soon take care guys bye bye